President Yoon's office has announced new names for some key government posts in the administration's first major shakeup, including high profile candidates on North Korea and culture and sports, hoping to add momentum for the administration's reform drive. Our presidential office correspondent Oh Soo Young unveils the list. President Yoon Togo carried out his first major reshuffle of key government officials on Thursday, replacing 15 ministerial and vice ministerial positions, hoping to gain momentum in pushing through his key state policies spanning inter Korean relations to energy and labor reform. First, the administration announced its pick for unification minister who will handle inter Korean affairs as Kim Yong Woo, an expert in the field, as an academic and an advisor to the government who pledged to do his utmost for a peaceful and orderly unification of South and North Korea. Current South Korean ambassador to Thailand, Moon Song Yan, will be his deputy. Another ministerial level appointment is that of Kim Ong Il, with a legal background of around 40 years as a prosecutor and lawyer, as the commissioner for anti corruption and civil rights. Among the 13 vice ministerial positions named, one standout pick is former Olympic weightlifting gold medalist Chang Miran as the new deputy vice culture minister. Also notably, five key appointments were incumbent presidential secretaries, including the secretary for management Kim Oh Jin as first vice land and transport minister, with Pei Gong Gok as the deputy, expected to oversee housing policies. Also crossing over to the government are Park Song Won as Vice Oceans and Fisheries Minister, In Sang Jun as the Vice Minister of Environment, and Cho Song Kyung as the Vice Minister of Science and ICT. Emphasizing the word consistency, senior UN officials told reporters that the secretaries were assigned to their respective government roles based on their deep understanding of the administration's major policy drives, indicating a clear desire for closer coordination. The cabinet shakeup was also seen by observers as a move to coordinate and prepare for next year's general elections as key officials repositioned themselves to enter the race. Other appointments include current ambassador to Vietnam Oh Yong Ju as deputy vice foreign minister, among other deputy positions at the finance, startup, labor and agricultural ministries. According to presidential spokesperson Kim Eun-hye, Yoon renewed his call to create a system based on common sense and fairness, asking the new appointees to break down corrupt relations and interest groups that harm public and national interest. As vice ministers can simply be named, they will take up their new rules from Monday, while the unification minister nominee will be going through a separate hearing and confirmation process. Oh Soo-young, Aeyang News.